Chattered Institute of Treasury Management is advocating a functional audit framework that will address the porous back end of the nation's treasury single account. This is as the parliament challenges the institute to prove its mettle by exposing any individual or group aiming to compromise the system. TVC News correspondent Jake Adisa reports. After many years of legislative efforts, the bill seeking to establish the Chartered Institute of Treasury Management became a law in December 2021. Its mission is to institutionalize a preventive mechanism against fraud, outright embezzlement, misappropriation, and misapplication in the management of the Treasury. Some nine months after, the Institute is inducting members while also recognizing the contributions of the Parliament. The organization of the financial procedure is also very important in treasury management. Uh, there are certain things that you will do that will give room for even those that do not want to feel pain to take some part of it. The chief whip of the House of Representatives, Mohamed Mongunu, was the sponsor of the bill. He underscores the place of the institute in taming the hydra-headed problem of corruption in the country. I challenge you all to be positive and professionally inclined to help in contributing your quota to nation building by being a catalyst for change and progress and development. The nation needs you. The institute seeks the support of the federal government through the office of the head of the civil service of the federation and the secretary to the government for the entrenchment of his curriculum among staff. It recognizes the impact of a centralized treasury, but urges the government to address the backhand challenges. However, we're asking the government to do the needful to empower this institute further, not just the act alone, but giving us a secularization, assisting the organization to move forward and making sure that members, it becomes a, quali a, a, quali a qualifying protocol. The National Assembly wants the Institute to distinguish itself in the execution of its mandates. The establishment of this Institute is to further reinforce and regulate the practice of Treasury management. And in the process, erring members will be punished and then quackery will be stamped out in the profession. With the necessary support through regularization and the building of each curriculum into the civil service secular, the institute is optimistic of a drastic reduction in corruption and other forms of wastages of the nation's resources. Jokai Edson, TVC News, Abuja.